Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This second topic in a series of 28 Bible prophecy topics is offered by Bible Prophecy on the Web. This second topic in this series is a study entitled Revelation chapter 13's Who's Who. I quote from the King James Version of the Bible. Have pen and paper handy. At the end of this topic, I will provide you with the Bible prophecy on the web, web address, in order that you can pose any comments, views, questions you may have on the subject. As regards to Revelation chapter 13's who's who, there are two beasts that play the key role in prophetic Bible prophecy. Although the beasts are described differently in the chapters of the books of Daniel and Revelation, these scriptures are referring to one or the other of the two. The beast of Revelation 13.1 is seen in the book of Daniel as the fourth beast. He is one of the kings of the four kingdoms that will stand up out of the nation. He is the other king who must continue a short space. A short space is three and a half years. The beast of Revelation 13.1 has the number 666, but it is the false prophet, the beast of Revelation 13.11, who is what the world refers to as the Antichrist. It is he who sits in the temple of God, showing himself he is God. It is he who magnifies himself. The beast of Revelation 13.11 is seen in the book of Daniel as another little horn. He is seen as a king of fierce countenance. He is seen in Revelation chapter 17 as a scarlet colored beast once he sits in the temple of God showing himself that he is God. He is the eighth who is of the seven that goeth into perdition. At Revelation 19.20, at the Battle of Armageddon, the beast of Revelation 13.1 is seen as the beast. The beast of Revelation 13.11 is seen as the false prophet. Reading from Revelation 19, verse 20, And the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him, with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast and them that worshipped his image. These both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone. There are scriptures that speak of the beasts of the earth as follows. At Jude chapter 1 verses 10 and 11, they they uh, state, but these speak evil of those things which they know not, but what they know naturally as brute beasts in those things they corrupt themselves. Woe unto them, for they have gone in the way of Cain and ran greedily after the error of Balaam for reward and perished in the gainsaying of Kor. 
at Titus 1, verse 12. One of them, even a prophet of their own, said, The Cretans are always liars, evil beasts, low bellies. And Second Peter, chapter 2, verses 11 through 13, declare, Whereas angels, which are greater in power and might, bring not railing accusations against them before the Lord, but these as natural brute beasts, made to be taken and destroyed, speak evil of the things that they understand not, and shall utterly perish in their own corruption, and shall receive the reward of the unrighteousness as they that count it pleasure to riot in the daytime. Spots they are and blemishes sporting themselves with their own deceivings while they feast with you. This concludes this Bible prophecy session. I will now give you Bible Prophecy on the Web's web address. It is h t t p colon backslash backslash groups that's plural groups dot yahoo dot com backslash group that's singular group backslash one word Bible prophecy capital B for Bible capital P for prophecy the moderator of Bible prophecy on the web is the author of the self-study aid the book of Revelation explained published in 1982 the next topic the third topic in this Bible prophecy series is entitled The Dragon, the Beast, and the False Prophet.